Hey, hey, welcome back, friends. It's Mr. Reality from Reality Forecast on YouTube. I'm joined with Liz Cross. And Liz Cross, you had a lot of requests on your Patreon. If you haven't joined Patreon, please go over there, patreon.com forward slash remote viewing and beyond. And you get videos that aren't necessarily there, and you get asked access to asking questions that we'll answer. How are you? Uh, yeah, great. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of the videos that are, you know, not exposed to the public they're unlisted are on the patreon so i'm sorry if you're not seeing all the videos and so we you know a lot of people responded to the questions that you asked if any people like to ask the higher mind of taylor swift questions so i itemized those here and if you ask a question we'll get to it hopefully there's like a hundred of them so we're gonna try and go as quick as we can through them um and i'm gonna skip some that are crazy but do you have time, Liz, to get into the mind of America's favorite sweetheart of the day? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. Thank you for doing this one. Uh, yeah. I have her here. Yeah, she, you know, this all this new hype about her relationship with Travis Kelsey, who uh, I am learning as a football player. Uh, I don't know too much about him. How are you, How are things going with you and Travis? Right, according to her. Thumbs down. According to her, they're going great, right? No. Oh, they're, they're bad. Yeah. Oh, she no. What's, what's going on? Down. I know. So that's today's personal thoughts, feelings, and opinions. Um, it's the what she's thinking right at this moment on the 19th of January, 2024. What do you, why are you giving me a thumbs down on the relationship? Ooh, it's not good for her. She already knows that. Oh. So the big question a lot of people have is, is she going to get married to Travis Kelsey? No. <gasps> Does she feel that it can be remedied, this issue with Travis Kelsey? Kelsey? It could be remedied. Yes, she does. Okay, well, we're going to send our love and, and hope that they reconcile. Um, what is her sole purpose on this plane at this time? Earth. Um, she's telling me. She's telling me to just bring as much joy and happiness to as many people as she can. Does she feel that energy and that love that people have for her? And, and what does that do for her soul? She does. She loves her fans. Um, and I understand that, you know, without the fans, you're you're nobody. Um, she loves music. She's always loved music. Uh, she's telling me that she will continue to make music for as long as she possibly can. Uh, I did receive some information in another reading, which I'm going to publish along with side with this video. Are you thinking of going on to the screen? Yes, she is. See? She is thinking of going on to the screen to star in shows or movies. Well, it'd be nice if she could bring that back. She did very well with her concert tour footage that came out. One of the biggest hit movies of the season. What's this number in her incarnation journey as Taylor Swift? As a human. She's well into the 500s at the moment. How does she feel about her fame in this incarnation? How do you what is it? How does she feel about her fame? Yeah. She loves it. It's tiresome. It's hard. Always being in the spotlight. Every move that she makes, she says. Right. Her That's personal be life. 
she uh, she finds some of it difficult, but ultimately she loves what she does. Has she found any darkness in the the movie the music industry, and how does she shield herself from that if she has? Oh, there's lots of darkness in the music industry. Um, how do you shield yourself from that? Uh, she just keeps her nose clean and she lets her people handle it. She doesn't try to get involved too much with, uh, you know, with all the ins and outs of that. Uh, she's way above that. She lets her team deal with difficult people. Is she part of the Illuminati? Are you part of the Illuminati? No. Now, I have a little story about Taylor Swift. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, as you know, uh, I grew up in the music business, and I actually know somebody that was in her band. And her band were starving when they were on tour. This is many years ago, but they were starving, hungry. And the way they rectified the situation was that they would have to go to dinner 45 minutes before she went to dinner. Because, you know, when you're on tour, you have to pay for the band, right? And usually it's custom that the band all eat together. That would be a big check. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, for her, that's chump change. But, um, you know, the problem was that they would all sit down, order their food. The food would come. She would have one or two bites and get up and say, let's go. Dinner's over. And her band were starving. So in order to rectify that situation, they literally had to sit down and order 45 minutes before she got to the table. <laughs> yeah. So they could eat. They were so hungry. So she does not eat much. She's very controlled. And when I asked her, you know, through a mind probe about, you know, this issue, she's still very controlled with her eating like that. Now, Is my this question is high metabolism. Do you have a high metabolism? She does have quite a high metabolism, but she also does not, um, she does not eat a lot of food. She, you know, this is her business and her business is to look as good as she sings. Right. And she has to maintain that look. Do you, and, and she works hard at maintaining that look. It's very important to her. And so when I asked her about, you know, how do you ignore the food noise or what happens? Do you feel hungry? She goes, yeah, sometimes I do. And I say, well, what do you do to, to fix that? And she says, I ignore it. So she has trained herself to just ignore the food noise. Um, she doesn't give into it, you know? And I thought that was very interesting about her. So then I started probing quite a few other celebrities and they all seem to do the same thing. Hmm. Interesting if we could take that and, and follow the same path. Yeah, well, I mean, is it healthy? I mean, she looks healthy. I wouldn't say that she's, are you anorexic? No. Are you bulimic? No. I mean, she does get her caloric intake, but she's very cautious about what she eats. She drinks a lot of smoothies. Uh, she has a lot of organic food. I mean, when you're on that money, you can afford it, right? Do you eat sweets? Only very occasionally. And if she does, it's a very, very small amount. Uh, one of the questions is, what are her major life lessons to learn in this incarnation? Major life lessons is how to deal with fame. That's not an easy thing to do. You have to be able to deal with it. Um, do you do drugs? No. Do you do alcohol? Very rarely does she drink. So, you know, she's one of those people that has not succumbed to, you know, that alcohol and drug life. Does she plan to be, so I forgot where we were, but some other questions from your Patreon. Uh, why did you choose this incarnation to be like a spokesperson to make people feel great? 
Uh, I feel like this is the only opportunity she's had. You know, she's had some very poverty stricken past lives. Tell us about and, those. Yeah, I see one where she was small and they were, what, what year is this? Are you uh, in the U.S.? Yep, yeah, they're in the U.S. And are you, pil they're pilgrims. Okay. And what's going on? Because I see like a little cabin and they there's no food. And it's really hard and she feels very guilty and her mother isn't well. And I see that the dad is also not well. And I'm saying, how many kids are there? There's, there's a few kids there and they're all trying to grow food and try to like farm this little patch of land in order to survive. And they've had a bad crop. They've had a bad season. Now they're going into a very bad winter and they all end up passing away. Is that one of the reasons why she is more like less likely to have kids in this lifetime because of a previous lifetime where they were poor and poverty stricken? Well, Taylor Swift have kids in this lifetime. Hmm. I will she do you want children? She definitely wants children as I mind probe her. I mean, she hasn't yet. She's still quite young. Um, she just says to me, I haven't met the right person. Could you see yourself having kids with Travis? No, she already knows there's been several red flags. Um, there's been a lot of rifts recently between her and Travis. And um, she's very guarded with what she you know, how she feels and she's very cautious. She's been here many times before. And uh, so she, she, you know, she's playing it safe. I don't think that. Are you thinking of getting married to him? No. Has he talked about it? Yes. So he's already talking about it. And what do you say? She says, I deflect the conversation. So she's already, you know, she's already sort of moving herself mm -hmm. away from him. At, at this point. And she goes, I hate to break the heart of the people again. Because yes. everybody gets All excited of our hearts about break. It. Yeah, well, Ronan, now you have a chance. <laughs> That's true. She could call me. And if she wants to go to reality forecast on YouTube or send me an email, <laughs> remote view it at gmail.com, I'm happy to entertain or take up where Mr. Travis is having issues. Be I'm very faithful. So <laughs> Um, someone said she's either of the dark or possibly working for the NSA or an inside agent for white hats. Are any of these things true or are these crazy talks? Uh, do you work for the dark? No, I don't get any darkness about her being at all. Like I know there's darkness in everyone, but when I probe her, she's a very much a light being. Do you have any, um, any blockages to money? No. You see, now that's something people, people email all the time, Liz, how do I manifest more money? I'll tell you how, because all these people at the top, they have zero emotional attachments to, or negative emotional attachments to having money. And I see that about her as well. Someone wants to know if she keeps a notebook or a dream journal or a manifestation journal you keep a notebook no she's actually quite scared to keep a notebook she doesn't want it to be discovered do you uh -huh. keep a dream journal no do you keep a manifestation journal no did you ever have a vision board yes how about her own devotions does she practice any type of religion you practice any type of religion uh, she's kind of like yeah so so do you pray she does pray, but I, I feel she's more spiritual than religious. Okay. I think we're all a little bit spiritual, so it's yeah. nice that yeah. she has that. Um, does she feel like she's a psychic or a medium or a sorceress? Do you feel like you're psychic? No. Are you a medium? No. Have you used to, Have you ever gone to psychic mediums before? Yes. Do you have a psychic medium that you use on a regular basis? No. Well, you can call your friend Liz here. Uh, That's right. You if you're interested in a psychic medium, <laughs> go to patreon.com forward slash remote beyond and sign up with Liz Cross <laughs> or go to her website, 
LizCross.com, Miss Swift. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've done celebrities before. They're, you know, I know how to deal with high maintenance people. Which of the which? What was her favorite place to play? Her one of her shows geographically. Geographically, where do you like to play? Do you like to play in the U.S.? Oh, do you like to play in South America? Not really. Do you like to play Canada? It's okay. I and mean, what do you what are you saying? She loves to play in Europe. And is that in the UK? She loves London. She loves the UK. And what about uh, elsewhere in Europe? Yeah, she does like elsewhere in Europe. She does love England, though. She does love it. Will she be moving to England? Uh, will you be moving? To she goes, I just moved back. So actually, that's true. I don't know she, anything about her. She had a house in London. She, I believe she sold it. Did you sell your house? Yeah. People want to know if she's had any past life connections with John Mayer or Travis Kelsey in a previous life. You had past life connections to John Mayer in a previous life. Yeah, but it was all like kind of acquaintance. What about Travis Kelsey? Now, they were the forbidden lovers in a past life. Oh. Yeah. And I'm saying, what do you mean? Tell me. I'm asking her soul. Tell me, what What do you mean by that? Forbidden. He was married. Okay. And were you married? Yep. She was married. And they were having some crazy affair. And they, you know, they got found out. And they had to go their separate ways. So it's like they're never allowed to be together. This is a common theme behind, with, between her and uh, Travis. Let's take her out to, I don't know, three or four years in the future. So what is it? 2024. Let's go out to 2028 and view the mind of Taylor Swift and ask her, is she married? Well, let's see. Uh, no. We want so much for her to be happy. I know. Well, you know, but she, do, yeah. are you seeing? Yes, yeah, she is heavily involved with someone. Is it, is it Travis Kelsey? No, no. Now, what is interesting is when I looked into her the other day when we were doing a tarot card reading on her. It, it really needs to be someone behind the scenes, as in somebody who's in management, somebody who's in music production, somebody who understands her business, but is not the front runner, right? Or not at the forefront of the business. That's her job. You can't have two people, you know, trying to suck up all the air. You, you know what I mean? Like, it's, right. I, I'll let her lead. Yeah, <laughs> you'll let her leave. You don't have a problem with that. I'm sure most. That's fine. Yeah, I don't mind. I'll just count the money. <laughs> right. But, um, you know, with her especially, you know, she's the star of the show. And it's very hard to have two stars of two different shows, right? Trying to make it work. It's not going to. She needs someone that understands the business, but is quite passive and understands that she's got to do what she has to do. She is a workaholic. Now with Travis, he's also a workaholic, right? And this whole thing they've got going on, that's not going to work because they both need somebody passive. What wisdom can Taylor Swift share for those that out are out there and want to easily and joyfully manifest more in their life? Uh, it's about your passion and your drive. And she believes that's all it is. I'm like, is it luck? No. She says, no, it wasn't luck. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> she worked hard to be where she is. And she says, you know, she was producing records or demos from a very young age. 
Uh, she was knocking on doors, she says, uh, handing out her demos. She worked incredibly hard to be where she is. So in her mind, you know, you can manifest anything with hard work. And I'm like, mm, yeah, you know, it's if that, to say that, from the that top. easy. Yeah. <laughs> if it was that easy, everybody would be able to manifest it, right? Exactly. Taylor Swift, we wish you love and happiness and keep spreading joy and love to everybody out there. Yeah, this was great. I actually quite like her. Um, I do. I'm I've not actually never not, heard her music. Really? I only a couple of songs, but you know, after this probe today, like connecting with her, she she's you know, she seems like a good person. And so uh there wasn't any like negativity that I could touch, you know, into or I couldn't find it. I couldn't All find right. it. So there you go. Yeah, this was thank great. You, thank Taylor you. Swift. Thanks everybody for those questions. And thank you, Liz Cross. Thank you.